<laughs> hey, my name is Mike Caldwell. I'm the owner of the Ark and also my little alpaca herd here, which uh, we'll introduce to you to in a minute. If you'll see the, uh, the wardrobe I'm wearing today, this is 100% Vinny wear. So this sweater was made from the fiber of Vinny. In the stores and especially shops, a sweater like this would cost somewhere between six and seven hundred dollars. Um, but you could have your own endless supply of these sweaters for 250 bucks for the entire herd. All you need to do is raise the alpacas, shear them, clean them, send the fiber away, have it spun, get the yarn back, and knit the and knit the sweater. That's all you need to do to have a sweater like this. Let's meet them. Okay. So we'll meet Vinny first because he's the uh, celebrity with the sweater. So Vinny is somewhere between, I don't know, 18 years old and 196 years old. We're not exactly sure his exact age. He was a rescue. Uh, but I've actually expected his last year to have come sometime in the last five years. But he keeps hanging in there. He's a tough old guy. And he's, he's got really, he's got really fantastic fiber. And he's a friendly fella. And this is his, actually him and Lucy. This is Lucy and they fight a lot. She is a, she's a very special alpaca. She's chipped. She's registered. She was one of the, she's, she's really good breeding stock. She has beautiful babies. Her fiber is amazing. So the reason I'm only charging 250 for the entire herd, and they're probably worth closer to 3,000. I'm just trying to find a good home for them. So I want them to go to a home where they have some pasture, where they have a lot of grass that they can eat in the spring, summer, and fall, where they have a shelter um, so they can get out of the, the weather. They just need three walls and a roof, really. But the people that would enjoy having them are people who are opening a hobby farm, Uh, they're really good with kids because they're not aggressive at all. Like, An alpaca really is incapable of hurting a, hurt, hurting a person in the other wood. So, yeah, basically any animal lovers, but yeah, basically a hobby farm and uh, anybody who loves animals and wants to interact with a unique species. 